Welcome to Pastella 28. I'm Ali, and today I'm showing you a super cool way that I haven't heard a lot of people talk about on how to organize your makeup. <laughs> so the first thing you're gonna need is a notebook and I am absolutely obsessed with this notebook. It is a beautiful Moleskine notebook. These are super popular in Switzerland right now. Hashtag not sponsored. They also did not send this to me. I just genuinely think it's a good notebook. Although I have to admit this one in particular has really thin pages, so. That's a bit of a bummer, but like, you know, it's fine. So I started off by just sketching out a little title. I wrote lips because I'm gonna be swatching all of my lipsticks. So that way I always see what colors I have. Um, down below, I added in a bunch of little boxes. This job is a little tedious because you have to fill the whole page with boxes, but it's fine. I also added like this little tiny box behind it and shaded it a little bit. I don't know, I just felt like it looked a little bit more fancy, a little more effortless. Um, after that, I went in with like a fine liner, marker, pen type of situation and I went over my font again and um, I basically uh, wrote it out and then made it a little bit thicker and added like, you know, thicker areas and thinner areas. I just feel like it makes the whole font look more effortless. A little bit nicer than if you just do like one single line. So next I took an eraser and I just kind of erased everything away, like all the pencil underneath. Obviously not the black lines because we need those. And then I started off by um, rubbing the lipstick onto my finger and then like trying to massage it into a paper that worked pretty well. But what personally worked for me the best is just to like swipe the lipstick onto the paper directly and then kind of massage massage it in there. After I filled in the little squares with lipstick, I immediately wrote the brand name as well as the shade name right underneath so that way I always know what lipstick we are looking at here, what we're talking about here. And then I just continued that with all the other lipsticks. If you do um, put in liquid lipsticks the way I did, it's super, super simple. Basically liquid lipsticks already come with a nice little applicator so I just kind of like pretended as if I were coloring in the lines. For the last little square what I did is I took my four lip liners that I have, yes I only own four despite having so many lipsticks, and I just drew a little line of each one, added the little names next to it obviously, and then I knew what liners I could use to the corresponding lipstick. Fun fact, while I was filming this video I actually posted to my Instagram, um, like you guys could guess what you thought I was filming. So if you don't follow me already, make sure to go check it out because I feel like it's a cute feed. If there's some cute pictures, you know, you might wanna go check that out, right? Another thing you can do in your makeup bullet journal or journal in general is you can plan out looks, which I think is super cool. So again, I wrote a nice little font with some pencil and then I also drew little eyebrows and little eyes below. I went over the font again with a black fine liner and then I started with planning some makeup. So I started off with the ABH Soft Glam Palette. This is my absolute favorite at the moment. It's amazing. I want to point out that if you guys are enjoying this video, you might as well subscribe and turn on notifications because the notifications bell is basically the new subscribe button. I used my finger to pick up the different shades and then I massaged that onto the paper on where I would place the shade on the eye. And I basically created a nice little eyeshadow look like that on paper. After that, I drew in some eyelashes and I colored in the eyebrow with the marker, wrote down the shade names that I used, and then I also added a lipstick beside that I think would match, so I just applied it to my lips, kissed the book, and then uh, you know you had a nice little lip swatch in your book. And um, on the right side, different like contour or bronzing products, a highlight or a blush, depending on what I was going for and what I thought would look good with this look. And then after that, I obviously wrote down all the names and like brands that I used underneath. So then I moved on to the next look and I used the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. I created a nice little gold sort of orangey look. I'm actually wearing it today, so cool, right? And then um, I also added a little bit of liner, continued with the lip swatches and some like contour bronzing highlight products beside it. All the way at the bottom, I went in with the Tartlet in Bloom palette, repeated the whole step. So you can basically plan out all of your makeup looks, but in a more sort of calm and relaxed way by doing it on paper. And you can create a bunch of different looks. You don't necessarily just have to do a lips page the way I did. You could do an eyeshadow page. You could do a whole blush page, a whole highlighter page, a whole contour page. So now I finished my beautiful little makeup book and hopefully I inspired some of you guys to create your own little makeup book. If you guys try it out, then make sure to send me some photos on Instagram because I'd love to see them. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I upload videos every single week. Mostly they are like DIY, lifestyle, fashion, and makeup related. So if you're into that, then make sure to subscribe. I love you guys so, so, so much. And I can't wait to see you in next week's video. Goodbye. Peace out, girl scout. I was Snapchatting a friend and then I don't know like what happened.
but I like sent it to three of my friends but it was only meant for a conversation with one of my friends and now my other friends opened it and they're probably like really confused right now but like whatever they should suck it up <laughs> by the way add me on snapchat if you guys want to <laughs> you guys are on snapchat now you guys are gonna be on snapchat way too much makeup this is way too much makeup makes sense right basically liquid lips <laughs> basically liquid lipstick 